cooking in Ani's kitchen. My name is Ani, and today I have an island bread recipe. It's called pan de agua. I know that on my channel I have one called pan soal. That recipe is a little different. That's a sweeter bread or a sweet bread, lightly sweet, not too sweet. And uh, this one isn't. That one contains, Bansova contains lard, and this one does not, okay? No oil whatsoever. This is called pan de agua, which translates to water bread, and it is so delicious. Okay, here are the ingredients. You're going to need your stand mixer or a uh, hand mixer, or you could do this by just your hand if you want to. I've got five cups of flour here fluffed up, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar. I've got a half a cup of warm water to say between 105 and 115 degrees. Okay. Back here I have warm water also i microwaved for two minutes it's a cup and a half here i have two cups of water that is so cool i'll wait till i'm ready to put this in the oven and then i'll microwave that for about four minutes and bringing it to a boil and then putting it in the pan in the oven and then one egg Okay, for an uh, egg wash, if you like, you don't have to. And that's to top off the bread to get a nice golden color. Now, and it also crisps up, up the, uh, the crust. Now, I have my regular mixer here, and then I have my dough hook. And I'm going to use this to blend up everything, and then I'll use the dough hook to knead. All right? And that's basically everything. I have a spatula here to kind of clear around the edges of the bowl. And other than that, we're pretty much ready to start. Here we have two baking pans, and I have some parchment papers of cornmeal on it. And I have two because this is five cups. I like to make my breads small because what I do is I bake one all the way for dinner that night and then I half bake the rest, wrap them up after they cool and freeze them for future dinners. Okay, and I so I like them small because this is a bread that's made with yeast and pretty much chemical free so it will not last that long. Now, if you use a celery stalk in with your wrapping or your wrapped bread, um, it will your bread will last longer. That's a tip for you. So here we go. I've got my stand mixer plugged in. I'm getting ready to prove my yeast. Here's my warm water. Let's go ahead and focus on that for now. And we're going to put in our yeast. And our one tablespoon of sugar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up. Just going to stir it, whisk it vigorously, wake up those yeasty beasties. It's time to go to work, guys. Get up, get your breakfast, and start rising. Rise and shine and give God your glory. <laughs> That's an old song. Okay, mix it very well. Once that is done, we're going to cover this and we're going to wait for 20 minutes. Okay. Now you can dampen the cloth if you like. 
and put it over. I'm just going to put this over this. Okay, wrap it up. Let it get nice and warm. And I shall bring you back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. As you can see, we have doubled inside. The yeast is good. So, we're going to go ahead and proceed. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put, let me bring you in closer. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put our flour. In our mixing bowl, and again, this is five cups of fluff, fluffed up flour, not sifted, fluffed. It's just some idea. If you want to sift, you go ahead, but unnecessary for this bread. One tablespoon of salt, in you go. Okay, and then we are going to. Use our whisk adapter. Lock in, low speed. You want to go a little bit at a time because it'll sometimes jump up out of the sides. Okay. Mix that salt in there really well. Stop and kind of fluff up the edges around and get that in there and underneath. You want that salt evenly distributed. Okay. I think we're good there. So now we're going to go ahead and mix in our yeast. Separating from the sides. Okay. Go ahead and mix that really well. A couple of minutes. Let it pick up the flour on the bottom. Okay. This is where we switch from the whisk to the dough hook. Just have to take the Writing off the whisk, which is just a matter of stabbing through the whisk, getting the dough to come off, which it should come off easy. Okay. Let's take this off. Give it a good tapping. Once you got that done, we want to use our dough hook attachment. Okay, and a lock, and on low speed, we're going to continue to knead until it all comes together. I'm going 
going to say about 10 to 15 minutes. This is what it looks like. It's starting to pick up that dough on the bottom. See that? So I'm going to time it for 10 minutes, come back, take a look. Check out the dough and then either add an additional five or that would be it. I'll be back. Okay, our 10 minutes are up. I'm going to check the dough. It's very soft. Okay. And it's still a little tacky. It doesn't stick too much to the hand. Just a little, but it needs some more time. So we're going to take it off the hook. I like mine a little softer. This is still, you know, it tears up. I want mine a little bit more stretchy. Gluten it. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes Put a damp cloth over it and let it rest before I begin to mix it, uh, knead it again. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes are up. We have let the dough relax a little. So we're going to go ahead and lock it. And on low speed, go ahead and knead it for 10 more minutes. Okay, I'll bring you back. All right, 10 minutes are up. off and let's check out no oh much better much better so what we're going to do now is remove the dough from the hook Okay, with the dough hook, put that in water. Okay, we're going to take the dough out of the bowl. Look how nice that dough is. And we're going to round it off. So, we're going to put some oil these regular oil or the olive oil whatever kind of oil you want go ahead and mix that oil and when your dough rises it won't stick okay Dough in there, roll it around. Okay. All right. Now we're going to let it prove. This is the fun part for about two hours. To shower cap it, throw a tea cloth over it, and 
set the timer for two hours. And meet me back here. In okay, y'all, time, the two hours is up. And our dough has risen beautifully. Real nice. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and dump it out on our mat. Move you guys back over here. This is the mat that I'm going to use right now. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Make sure there's nothing on there. A little bit of olive oil on there. You use vegetable oil or any kind of oil you want. Or if you prefer a little bit of flour. I tend to not like to add any more flour than what the recipe calls for. Because your bread will absorb it. And get your hands in there so you can handle the dough. Okay. Alright. So. Now that we got that all done, we're going to go ahead and get our dough out of Chandong. Look at this. Look at this dough. This is what I'm talking about. See that? No breaking. That's what you want. All right. So, I'm going to cut this into four. Jeez, I'm going to cut in half. Because so I want to make sure that the dough is even. And wait. Okay. I do have a scale, but I tend to not use it. <laughs> I go by eye. I don't know why I bought that thing for. I knew I would never use it. I'll probably just give it away. Come pass over as one of the prizes. Okay, and then one more. Now you could just make two nice sized loaves and just cut it in half. Again, remember, I like making smaller ones and freezing them because this just helps to and I. And, they, and also because this is a yeast bread which will not last too long on the shelf you can refrigerate it though okay i don't like cold bread uh once it's ready to eat i like it out okay Okay, here's one. Okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and cover this. And leave them alone for 30 minutes. Timer. Yeah, this recipe has a three hour rise time. You can even leave it for four. Okay, some people do and that's perfectly okay with this recipe. Alright, so I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. Our oh, 30 minutes are up. Okay. Now, we are going to take these puppies. Okay. One at a time. You could use a rolling pin or just your hands. To manipulate these uh, rolls into a loaf. OK. 
okay just stretch it out the ends you push in and you pinch you push in and you pinch this looks to be good make sure they're pinched everywhere so they don't open up on you we got one last rise coming Here's one. We're going to put this on the sheet pan. Okay, grab the second one. You want to get all the air out so you squeeze as you roll. Okay. And then you pinch to seal. Let me just stretch it out as so. Put it on the sheet pan. And you can do the same with all four. It's really, really easy. That oil that's on the mat will help you. Again, you don't want to really add any flour. I never do unless the recipe actually calls for it. You know, like you withhold a quarter cup or something from the original count just for that purpose and then knead it into the dough you know if you have to do something like that well of course but oil works a lot better a lot better okay it's a sheet pan all right last one and now i'll show you There they are. See that? The two loaves. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is a cold start, like I said. I'm going to let this rise. And for 30 minutes. And then we'll be ready to throw in the oven. So at about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take this two cups of water and put it in the microwave for about four minutes. So it comes to a boil real hot and put it in the oven. And then the remaining 10 minutes will give the oven a chance to steam up real well for the bread. And then we'll put the bread in the oven and set it for 400. This is a cold start for the bread. Okay, cold start recipe. So I'll be back. Okay, we have uh, boiling water here. And we're going to put it in the cold oven. In the bottom tray. Okay, warm up the oven real nice and hot. Get the steam going for the bread. They love it. Okay, and we got five minutes. On the bread which is you can see it's rising nicely so I'll bring you back okay turn this off time for the bread the half hour is complete we have the hot boiling water already in the oven now it's time to brush these babies okay and score them so I'll go ahead and score them Make 
sharpen my blade here. Four of them have been scored, and now we're going to brush on this mixture of eggs, Parmesan cheese, salt, oregano, and fresh dried crumbled basil. You can mix the egg with whatever you want, top your, your bread with whatever you want. You don't have to put anything if you just want it plain like Italian bread. See? But I didn't want to waste an egg, so I figure let's season her up. Okay. And on the parchment paper, I put some cornmeal. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay. Keep it from sticking. To the bottom of the parchment paper. Okay. So you like I said, you can season it with whatever you want. So if you wanted to make a sweet type of bread, Italian bread, check out my video on Bun So Out. It's kind of similar to this. It does not have a cold start, though. And uh, it's sweet, and you use lard and the hot water thing. You melt the lard in the hot water. and Just go check out the video, and you'll see that is a delicious bread. Yep. Very, very good. You want to put sesame seeds, you know, whatever you like. Get creative. All right? And that's everything. I used my whole egg. This is going in the oven right now. Okay, I think I'm going to make this a little bit. Okay. All right, the oven again is cold. Center of the oven, conventional bake, 400. All right, that'll be about 30 minutes. I'm doing mine for 20. Because I'm going to take one of those out. That's going to be uh, wrapped and put in the freezer along with these two. Let me get my rack ready. Now, I want to go ahead and put that tray on the top. to cook a little bit and I'll cut through. Okay. There it is. A cold start. Set for 400. Bring you back. Okay. So here we have the bread and this is for me uh, half baked. It seems a little uh, 
golden on the top because of the egg wash. But it's actually, if you can see the bottom, it's still soft. So it's half baked. Both of these are. So we're letting it cool down. This was already cooled. I took it out first. So here's how we're going to wrap this up. You're going to need parchment paper, aluminum foil, and cling wrap. Okay. Plastic wrap. So the first thing I do, you do it the way you like. But I'm going to show you how I do it. My help you. Give you an idea. A long sheet of aluminum foil. Then comes the cling wrap. Okay. And a long sheet of that. Right on top of the aluminum foil. Okay, and then your parchment paper. Okay, a white sheet. other side and cling to itself. Okay. Pull the sides in. in the freezer. Okay. I'm going to do this one next. Give you Just to give you an idea, that's all I wanted to show you. But let me go ahead and cut a piece of the bread that has already baked. crunch look at that crumb oh god it's so soft oh yeah delicious you can bake it lighter than that like I said um, I would actually half bake it like 20 minutes let it cool and then put the egg wash in because the egg wash seems to brown a lot quicker than the bread cooks so you know do 20 minutes, take it out, let it cool off for about 10 minutes, then put the egg wash, then put it back in the oven to finish baking for another 10, 15 minutes at 400. Okay? And there it is. Look at this bread. Look at that. Isn't it just gorgeous? Look at that. And this bread is so delicious. This one's not all the way baked. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And that is it. Pan de agua, you all. How do you like that? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Over to the right, there's a notification bell. Go ahead and tap on that and turn it on. That'll let you know every time I upload a new recipe to my channel. And check out my other recipes. There's a lot of good recipes on my channel. 
I mean, I think they're all good. But uh, this right here is a Puerto Rican, well, Caribbean, um, Creole type of bread. And it's called pan de agua. In English, it translates to water bread. Absolutely no oil is needed. So go ahead and make you some. All right. Until the next one, you all. God bless you. Take care of yourselves and one another. Yum. Look at that bread. Oh, yeah. That is so delicious looking. Inviting, isn't it? All right. Make yourself some.